Hey guys, it is Brian here with some FIFA 14 gameplay for you. The early release has gone live today, so I'll be posting lots of gameplay and also getting into the uh, career modes. I thought the best game that we could start off with here is actually playing uh, Southampton versus uh, Cardiff City, which are the two teams I'm looking at potentially playing as for my career modes. So we'll get going here with that, and then um, also I'll be playing lots of other games too. If you have any requests for seeing teams, let me know. I'll get around to playing those for you guys as well. So yeah, these are the two teams I'm really looking at now in regards to choosing a side. Um, I haven't done it yet. The actual voting, I did a, a video previously kind of saying to you guys if you wanted to choose between one or the other. It's been really close. So I'm kind of weighing the options right now. I want to play as uh, one of the teams at least and kind of give an idea of how they feel. And that's what we're going to be doing right here to get that idea. But at the same time too, I'm really leaving it up to you guys in regards to which one you want to see. So. If you want to let me know in this comment section as well, you can, and then uh, that'll also help lend a hand to that decision, which I'll probably get started playing that, you know, either later today, which is the initial release of the game, or pretty close after that. Could cross in. Uh, not far enough there. Oh, here we go. Chance for them. It's definitely going to be a change in something they have to get used to, though, the actual feeling of the gameplay overall, because it does feel a lot slower, which is a positive for me. I really am enjoying that aspect of it, but it has that drastic change that you can sometimes get in video games where, you know, like one year you're really used to something and then it there's a slight change up that really kind of changes the pace of play and really changes how it feels to play the game as well. And that's what I'm getting for this initially is that it's something that you're going to be able to get used to, and I kind of got used to it in the demo playing it a bit, but I wasn't playing the demo that much. I was waiting for the actual early release here to come about, but even now I can still feel it too, where it's just, it's, it's a different feeling game. It's got that weight to what I would say. The best word is weight, where every kind of decision you're making feels a little bit more slow-paced, but way it should at the same time too. But at the same time, on top of that, you're you know, movements and your decisions are a lot more magnified in like what those actually mean for your player. No quick turns, no real breaking away of pace. I bet you can do that with a good player, but not to the kind of effect that FIBA 13 had, where this is definitely a little bit more tame, a little bit more slowed down here. I'm mostly here trying to get my feet, trying to really get a comfort zone for the passing. I was offside there. It's a lot more tighter. That's the one thing I'm getting. And the thing I'm going to have to work on in regards to that too is the actual deeks that I'm able to pull off. You know, just undressing the defender is going to be really important, I feel. Uh, and this is... Yeah. Fraser Campbell putting away. Alright, let's see if we can get something going here. Oh, get up. Oh, darn it. Got in my way there. He was cutting back pretty quickly, though. If I waited one more second, I might be able to make that pass. Okay, Ricky Lambert. Oh, that was a poor pass. Ooh, close one there. I wanted to take that chance, though, rather than really working it and seeing what I could do with it. Oh. Okay, we still got the ball. What can we do? back come on come on oh come on <laughs> you gotta grab it okay so first half there started to feel a little bit better in the second part of it but not 
the best there. We had good possession, but also not that many chances really going our way. And here's a look at the actual uh, new menu. We've seen it before in the demo, but it's, it's definitely way more improved. You can really make it happen the way you want to now. And you can have it set up. You don't need to take, you know, 10 minutes looking through things, being like, oh, I need to change this, change that. You can have your formations all set up and ready to go, which you could before technically, but it's a little bit more handy in that spot that it is now. Oh, he's off. He's gone. Fraser Campbell again. What a goal. <laughs> I wish it was me, but that's still a nice goal from him. Alright, well we need to get something going here. We're not going to go down 2-0 and just end it that way. Or at least hopefully not. Just got stubbed there completely. That's nice to see too. That's a new uh, animation that we haven't seen previously. Uh, if I take my attention away from the uh, defender though as well, it's not working out for me so far. Oh, there we go. Ricky Lambert, celebrate. <laughs> and that's one of the things I'd like to do with Southampton. If we had them, if I was my team, we'd score some goals with Ricky Lambert for sure. Okay, well, we're only one behind now. The ball seems a lot more alive, too. Like, that's a gaff that you would not see happen in uh, FIFA 13. Similar to the, you know, the plays that I'm making where I'm stubbing it or something like that. These are all circumstances you really wouldn't see. It's a lot more fluid, the actual animations of the players, which is an extremely good positive for the game. It feels so much more better in that regard. So if you get it over their heads... In the middle of the... Ah. Uh, just got wasted there. That guy's going to be injured, unfortunately. I have to watch out for Fraser Campbell, though. He's a feisty little guy up there for Cardiff. I could see scoring a lot of goals of him as well. That pace over the head. Balls really being effective of him. At least it looks that way. All right back. That was a close one. Okay, we'll make a change now to get Schneiderling off there. Oh, uh, yeah. Way harder to time that perfectly timed um, little move. I used to do that a lot in uh, FIFA 13 where I would try and go in there and like wait for the exact moment where the uh, defender would go in for a little bit of attack. And uh, that would be my moment where I would just deke around him and have that break on the wing, which is... Not going to happen here, at least at least initially until you get more of a footing on the game. Um, also want to see Osvaldo on, so I'll bring him on. We'll do a, a, a three-player change, something I don't normally do. There's a lot of really interesting players I like on um, Southampton, though. That's one of the other positives to them, too. Cardiff, though, also do have some players I really like, and you know, having a guy like Fraser Campbell up front would be a lot of fun to play with. There's that triple change. Bring on Osvaldo. <laughs> See, it was the decision, the right decision here. Because Ricky got that goal, but he was a little sluggish for my taste. Uh, I was stupid there. Oh, there was a chance. Ponytail boy almost got it. Uh, nah. Not good enough. Come on, Jay. With that speed on the wing. Cross in. Oh, I thought I was going to have it there. Oh, no. Fraser Campbell, get out of here. He's my nightmare right now. Haunting my dreams. There you go, guys. That is the uh, first game, at least for me, of uh, FIFA 14. Recommend what teams you'd like to see uh, me play gameplay with, because we'll be doing a lot of these. And uh, also, sound off on who I should be for my career mode.
Southampton or Cardiff City. Until next time, though, thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to see more FIFA 14, subscribe to my channel. i got lots more coming in the future. And uh, I'll see you guys around.